Hello Desert Bearhawk fans, a uh, quick video, it's been a while since I've done one and uh, I've made some progress so I figured it's time to produce a video and I think I owe you guys a video so uh, bear with me if some of this gets washed out, the sun's coming through the garage door, it's that time of year so it's uh, late afternoon uh, about three o'clock on Saturday the 1st of November and uh, we're 600 or so days uh, probably getting close to 700 days into this project I don't know I got the exact days but I'd have to look and shut down the video to do that so anyways regardless this is the right wing that we're looking at and you can see now that the pocket ribs for the aileron pocket have all been riveted in now just like I said I was going to do flat on these tables here they're all riveted in. I got the remaining rivets for oh, get washed out. Remaining rivets for the uh, tip rib done that I couldn't access when it was in the fixture. You could see now a little better that magnetometer mount that sits right here in this bay, uh, the second to last bay on the right wing. You could see how that's going to work. And what we have here now, I've said this probably ten times. But this time, I really mean it. This wing structure is completely riveted together. I got this little, uh, this back rib right here. I got this one riveted in today. I put in the rivets up here for the, uh, the root rib, center rib, um, where it attached in. I couldn't, I couldn't access these with it in the fixtures. As a matter of fact, you can see some of the paint some of the red paint from the fixtures kind of gotten on the uh, end of my spar. I'll clean that up with a little steel wool and repaint it. Probably not steel wool, but uh, scotch Bright. And you can see that the standoffs are all in place all the way down. You can see the wing is a little ray of sunshine shining on it. It's this bad boy right here is ready to get is ready to get skinned. So, I have more work to do over here on the other wing. Let me back up a little bit. You'll notice that the two, the two back ribs, right there at the root, you can see them here. They're not installed, so I have to get those lined out and drilled. And it's kind of a pain because this uh, fixture gets in my way to drill in the holes and you have to kind of lay on your back and do it upside down and it's a Hail Mary but I think I'll get it. I got it once. I know I can get it again. Then what's going to happen is this wing here will come out of the fixture. It'll go onto this table and the same treatment. It'll get the same treatment that the uh, the right wing got and it'll be done. So now those of you who see my videos before you're probably wondering where, go around the circles one more time, where is Dave's gold wing? Well, just to show you how much my family supports the project, there is my gold wing. And this is the hallway entrance to our house. So the gold wing is parked in the hallway right now, and it's out of the way. So I've got room, I don't know, see, even my bicycle's in the dining room just to get it out of the way right now because we're just running out of room in the shop. So that's going to get a little dark. Bear with me. So I guess I could get the gold wing back in the spot right here, but I wasn't sure at the time when I took the wing off the uh, fixture, so I just decided to heck with it. And besides, I'd have to get the gold wing between the... The table on that one stanchion and I could probably do it but if I made even the slightest mistake I'd whack something and tear something up so it's parked for the next couple of days in the hallway and really what's going to happen next is this this wing right here is going to go in that same hallway on the on the tile floor me and my son will carry it in and set it down and uh, that'll give us you know access to put this wing on the table then we'll, then we'll fix the uh, left wing, we'll do what we did to the right. Then the left wing will go back in the fixture. Then the right wing will come out and go in the fixture. And then the gold wing spa day 
in the hallway will come to an end and we'll bring her back to the garage. So that's the update. Um, I don't have any tricks to tell you about right now. Um, well, maybe I do. One thing I figured out it, when I was riveting is I was using an offset rivet set. Oh, model airplanes. Working on those too. Um, I did an offset rivet set and you can see right there, you can see how it's got that bent angle in it. Um, and that allows me to get in weird angles. One of the problems with these offset rivet sets is when you're riveting, they like to rotate around on you. They like to spin out of shape. So if you look right, let's see if you get some good light. If you look right down there, the base, and I know this is, anyone who did, has done sheet metal work, this is no revelation. But for those of us who are kind of learning it for the first time or haven't done it since A&P school, um, it took me a while, but I remember this trick. And basically what I did is I wrapped the shaft with black electrical tape and that allows this spring to bind up on the shaft a little bit and keeps this this end from rotating around making your life considerably simpler so that's my little trick in this video like i said we're on our way that's the update so hopefully by mid-november we'll be ready to order some skin material from spruce and try our hand at riveting skins on. And if all goes well, hopefully by March of next year, February maybe, it may even go faster than that, I don't know, but hopefully we got these two wings out of here. Um, the only other thing I need to do is I'm gonna have to build a, um, I'm gonna build a really big table, um, four feet by 16 feet or 14 feet big enough to set this wing on and get that table perfectly plumb flat so when I go to put my ailerons and my my flaps in I can Jig them off the table. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know that for a fact I may I may do it a different way, but that's kind of my thought right now But uh, the more tables I build the less space I have to do anything. So I'm kind of You know, I'm kind of eating up my garage. But anyways, that's the update uh, It is March 1st 2014 and uh, thanks for hanging out with me and following the project, and we'll see you next time.